As you know, Adam, this is where we're kind of ramping up to the peak of severe weather season, which is considered to be the early part of May. And so a lot of people are trying different technologies to really make sure we're prepared for severe weather season. I know you talked to a few folks earlier this week about that. Yeah, I did, Joanne, and it's kind of keeping up with the times. There are some uh, local college students. Uh, they're changing the way storm chasers track tornadoes. They've created a drone that's actually going to fly into the eye of a storm. You can see them working on it there, and that's actually what the view of this thing looks like. Uh, it's sending all that data back to them the entire time. I caught up with a couple of these students for a firsthand look at their operation. This eagle eye view of North Georgia is from a drone. It's a test flight for a much more ambitious mission, flying directly into a tornado. What if our sensors are the sensors that measure the lowest like barometric pressure that's ever been recorded on Earth? I mean, what if our sensors are the ones that do that? What if our cameras are the ones that actually like see a tornado you know, right up close and personal from the inside of a tornado even? Flying a drone into a tornado has never been done. And yet two Kennesaw State students and a friend with pilot training are setting out to do just that. We started a Kickstarter and we raised uh, just over $11,000 on there. And uh, that actually got us a lot of press and uh, kind of got us out there to the community. And it gave us some funding to really go forward with some quality components. The storm's inflow should help suck the drone into the twister, turning the plane into storm debris. From there, all the weather bells and whistles will do the rest. So civil engineers or industrial engineers or any type of engineers that, that are making infrastructure and structures and different types of uh, you know housing or buildings and stuff like that can see how debris is interacting in a tornado and how that might impact a structure and so they can take that data and hopefully build better structures. If you've seen the movie Twister, this has been done before, but never from above and never from the safety of a controller miles away. You know, we're hoping to kind of write, a, you know, the book on the standard of, you know, storm chasing with these things. I think that we can kind of bring in a new era of storm chasing that's safer, that's uh, more reliable and, you know, easier ways of doing it. Uh, that was a great group of guys, very intelligent. Uh, that gang's going to be heading for Kansas in about three weeks. They have one week out there in three drones to try to get into a tornado. They're willing to destroy them all just to get that data, Denise. Cool story, Adam. Yeah, all cool. right. Thank you.